Hello, welcome to how to solve this equation for x. x plus 11 whole to the power 4 minus x plus 9 whole to the power 4 is equal to 80. First of all, we split this 11. We split this 11 as 10 plus 1. And we split this 9. We split this 9 as 10 minus 1. Like this x plus we split this 11 as 10 plus 1 whole to the power this power 4 minus x plus we split this 9 as 10 minus 1 whole to the power this power 4 is equal to 80. Now here we have x plus 10 and here we have x plus 10. So we suppose that let x plus 10 is equal to m and we substitute m in this equation then this equation becomes m plus 1 whole to the power 4 minus m minus 1 whole to the power 4 is equal to 80. Now we can write this uh, m plus 1 whole to the power 4 as m plus 1 whole square and whole to the power 2 minus and we can write this uh, m minus 1 whole to the power 4 as m minus 1 whole square and whole to the power 2 is equal to 80. Now according to algebraic identity a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. This uh, m plus 1 whole square this m plus 1 whole square is equal to m square plus 1 plus 2m whole to the power this power 2 minus and according to algebraic identity a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2 a b this m minus 1 whole square is equal to m square plus 1 minus 2 m whole to the power this power 2 is equal to 80. Now here we have m square plus 1 and here we have m square plus 1. So we suppose that let a is equal to m square plus 1 and here we have 2m and here we have 2m. So, we suppose that b is equal to 2m and we substitute a and b in this equation then this equation becomes a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square is equal to 80 and this a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square minus and this a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square is equal to 80. Next we remove these brackets a square this plus 2ab plus 2 a b plus b square and this minus will changes the signs of uh, these terms. This uh, positive a square becomes uh, negative a square and this negative 2 a b becomes uh, plus 2 a b and this uh, plus b square becomes uh, negative b square is equal to 80. Now this positive a square will be cancelled with this uh, negative a squared 
and this positive b squared will be cancelled with this negative b squared and this 2ab plus this 2ab 4ab is equal to 80 and we divide both sides of this equation by 4. Now, this 4 will be cancelled with this 4 and a b is equal to 80 divided by 4 20. Now, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that a is equal to m square plus 1 and b is equal to 2 m. We have supposed that a is equal to m square plus 1 and b is equal to 2 m. Now, we substitute a value of a m square plus 1 and value of b 2 m in this equation. Then this equation becomes m square plus 1 times 2 m is equal to 20. Now, we multiply this 2 m by this m square plus 1. 2 m times m squared 2 m cubed and 2 m times this plus 1 plus 2 m is equal to 20. Now, from here we can factor out 2. 2 times in bracket left m cubed plus m is equal to 20. We divide both sides by 2. This 2 will be cancelled with this 2 and here left m cubed plus m is equal to 20 divided by 2 10. Now, we move uh, this 10 to the left side m cubed plus m minus 10 is equal to 0. Now, this is a cubic equation and uh, can be solved by factorization m cubed plus m we split this negative 10 as we split this negative 10 as negative 8 minus 2. We split this negative 10 as negative 8 minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, because this 8, this 8 is a cube of 2. So, we write this negative 8 with this m cube. m cubed minus 8 plus this m minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, we make a group of this m cubed minus 8 and write this in parenthesis m cubed minus this 8 is equal to 2 cubed and from this plus m minus 2 we can factor out plus 1 plus 1 times in bracket left m minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, according to algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. This m cubed minus 2 cubed is equal to m minus 2 times m squared plus 2m plus 4 plus 1 times m minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see this m minus 2 is a common factor. So, we factor out this m minus 2. m minus 2 times in bracket left this m square plus 2m plus 4 and this plus 1 m squared plus 2m plus 4 plus 1 is equal to 
zero. Next, m minus two times m squared plus two m and plus four plus one plus five is equal to zero. Now from here, either this expression m minus two is equal to zero. Or this expression, m squared plus 2m plus 5 is equal to zero. From here, m is equal to 2, and this is a quadratic equation. First, we find its discriminant and see that the discriminant is less than zero or greater than zero. In this equation. A is equal to one, B is equal to two, and C is equal to five. And the discriminant D is equal to B square minus four AC. That is equal to value of B two squared minus four times value of A one times value of C five. And the two squared is equal to four minus Four times one four and four times five twenty and four minus twenty is negative sixteen. So the discriminant delta of this equation is less than zero. So no real solutions can be found from this. So we accept only this value of m two, but we need to find the value of x. Now, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that x plus ten is equal to m. We have supposed that x plus ten is equal to m. to find the value of x in this equation we put the value of m 2 x plus 10 is equal to the value of m is 2 now we move this plus 10 to the right side x is equal to 2 minus 10 and x is equal to 2 minus 10 negative 8 so this is the value of x this is the final answer